The IWS flood and drain system is a simple yet extremely effective modular hydroponic system. It is composed of three main parts. The pots. These are connected together in series with flexible supply tube, terminating at the brain pot. The brain pot is connected to the tank which stores a vital nutrient solution your plants require. We will now talk you through the features of each part of the system. At the top of the tank is the anti-siphon valve. This prevents a wanted through flow of water. Located at the bottom of the tank is the feed pump, positioned just above the bottom to stop noisy vibrations. Next we have the brain pot. Inside the brain pot is the drain pump and two magnetically controlled high quality float switches. Next we have the pots. The pots are composed of an inner and an outer pot. In the base of the pot is the inlet and drain. These are connected with the supply tubing which is tightly sealed onto each pot using an adjustable gland. We will now run through a complete irrigation cycle. Starting with the timer, make sure the timer is plugged into the brain pot and the brain pot is plugged into the mains. Turn the dial clockwise to set your desired flood time. Time will pass and the system will remain idle until a depressed segment is reached. This initiates the feed pump in the tank. And the irrigation cycle begins. The nutrient solution will now be pumped from the tank into the brain pot. As the brain pot fills, all the pots connected to it also fill. This forces stale air out of the roots. When the top float switch is triggered by the rising water in the brain, it switches off the pump in the tank. This stops the brain filling. The nutrient solution is now held at the maximum flood height until the set flood time expires. When the set flood time is over, the drain pump in the brain is initiated. The nutrient solution is now pumped from the brain pot and returned back to the tank. This action drains the solution from all the pots. This draws fresh oxygen into all the plant's root zones. When the bottom float switch drops, the drain pump switches off. The tank is now refilled, the irrigation cycle has finished and the whole system is fully watered.